I made a deformed miniature car of Tyrell P34 with a resin 3D printer. I printed two same car models and painted them in two different colors, the 1976 and the 1977 Monaco Grand Prix. Therefore, the 1976 P34 is an incorrect model. The 1976 coloring of the 1977 P34 may be similar to the 1976 P34 at Tamaya's headquarters. The 3D model was designed with a blender. The P34 model was reduced by 65% in the length direction. In the video, each part was reduced in edit mode respectively, but it might have been faster to reduce all the parts together in object mode. I'm still a beginner in blenders, so I haven't really understood how to use it. Since there were no enough space for front wheels, the side pontoon were further shortened, resulting in little space for decals to be applied later. The model was sliced with Kitu box and printed with anti-cubic photon. Wanhao's water washable resin was used. After this, the procedure is the same as the video already uploaded, after removing supports, secondary UV curing, polishing the surface with a sponge file, and then painting with a primer surfacer. By the way, I tried to record only this part of the video with the in-camera of the cheap smartphone, but the image quality is extremely poor. The screen is getting brighter or darker because the exposure may not stable. The decals included in Tamaya's kit were reduced to 37% and printed with an inkjet printer. This reduced scale was a miscalculation and was a bit too big as it should have been reduced to 32%. The decal was large and it was deformed and shrunk in the vertical direction, so the decal protruded from the body. The decal paper I used this time may have been painted too thick with protective clear, thus it was too hard to fit into the body, so I warmed it with a hair dryer and let it blend in. I haven't taken a video, but when the decal was dry, I painted a protective clear and repaired the damaged part of the decal with a brush. This time, I reduced it only in the length direction, but it may feel like a toy if I make it a little larger in the height direction too. With the advent of 3D printers, it has become possible to easily create deformed miniature cars with the data of the original car model. 3D data of both the original P34 and the deformed one are uploaded to Thingiverse, so if you are interested and have a resin 3D printer, please would you print them out. However, I don't recommend printing with an FDM printer, as you will be disappointed with its poor quality. Small parts will let alone lack strength, not even be printed in the first place. With a resin 3D printer, we can print with satisfactory quality even with a low-priced model for only around $200. Personally, I think the cheap color LCD model is enough, such as Anycubic Photon or Elegumars. If you don't mind, please could you subscribe to this channel. Thank you for your watching.